Hey guys, so I know I've never done one of these before, but I'm going to go ahead and change that now. Let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Lucas, and I am a beginner photographer who is trying to turn this into a little something more than a hobby. Um, so you'll see me, I don't really have any, you know, any devices to read off of script, so I just kind of uh, scripted it to give myself an idea of what to talk about. So I dabble in a little bit of every area when it comes to photography. I got my start uh, last year uh, with Branson's famous Bald Knobber show. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so I did a lot of practice on them last year when I decided to just randomly start taking photos with my, my old camera that I had, which was a Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, I was not a fan of that camera for photography, just saying. Um, this thing is recording things I say. Okay, anyways. Um, they've always been so welcoming and taking photos, so uh, with me taking photos, so it's been great. And it's been good practice, and they give me a lot of, you know, good or uh, constrictive, what is it, constrictive criticism feedback um so they're bluntly honest which is what someone in the in this area of art per se needs um i continued in the year i continued into the new year so 2023 now that today is by the way everybody happy new year i uh, hope that all your uh, dreams and wishes and everything come true this year um this past year, I upgraded to a Canon Rebel T7 and picked up a few. I got the kit lenses that came with the kit that I got, which was, I think, the 18 to 55 millimeter. And then there's a 70 or a 75 to 300 millimeter. Um, I've had no e issues with either lens. I think it just probably depends on what kind of photography you're shooting. Um, but I didn't have any issues shooting. Uh, at my friend's uh, show this year. So um, I think that the Canon Rebel does a pretty good job for somebody who's learning and beginning beginning and trying to dabble um, into the, you know, out of the comfort zone. Um, I have been learning from this photography Facebook group that I'm in that it really doesn't, it really seems to depend more on the glass you have, AKA the lens, lenses that you have that make photos phenomenal. Um, so last year, uh, or no, yeah, last year, I guess I keep forgetting today is 2024. Um, last year I needed to, I had come across the photo that I was going through. It was just a, just a hair blurry. And um, probably before March or so of last year, I wasn't editing photos. I was just, um, pointing and clicking per se um and so uh while i was continuing to go through photos i had asked my brother because he knew a, at that time knew more about photoshop than i did so i had asked him if he knew how to get rid of blur out of photos and he said he didn't but while i was continuing to go through photos um he happened to be youtubing it i didn't know he was youtubing it um until he said he found something he said lucas i found something and then walked me through the steps of it and then i wrote those steps down and I, they never left my brain after the first two or three uses um and that was when i learned that there were some other settings that you could mess with in photoshop uh probably about 2 or 3 months ago I was, you know, talking with my friend Brandon and Shane uh, about photo the photos that I had taken um, that Shane typically goes through the photos that I've taken um, I, just because I think he enjoys looking at them and he appreciates my work. Um, but anyways, uh, someone, uh, I believe it was Brandon and someone else, uh, I had been seeing in the photography group that people are recommending using uh, Lightroom over Photoshop for photography and um, I was talking to Brandon about how I you know want to kind of dabble with that program and you know learn it and I'm still learning it but um, somebody so at, 
they always have somebody at the entrance of their theater doors taking like photos of people that would like to take them home for you know memories or memorabilia after the show because they can also get them signed by the uh the showrunners i guess uh so anyways the photographer was you know overhearing and stating that you can edit more than just you know like uh, the photo itself you if you have a picture that involves people you can go in and individually adjust like their skin tones and clothes clothing make it pop and look better and stuff and so that night I came home and I was messing with Lightroom and uh, point and click went from editing s small edits in Photoshop to um, you know 50 photos taking you know full 12 hour a day to to edit and get perfect I'm OCD, not diagnosed. I'm just self-diagnosed OCD, and I am diagnosed with uh, severe ADHD. So, um, I know that nothing will ever be perfect, but perfection is what I try to go for. Even though, um, for me, it looks perfect in my editing styles and stuff. So, uh, anyways, so uh, enough enough babbling about that. Um, so I am, uh, in March of 2024, I am planning to launch a photography business, at least that is the plan. I need some more practice in things like portrait photography, um, nature, I think, too. Uh, animals would be cool uh, to get some practice on, like farm animals and stuff. Um, and then I would also you know, like to dabble in like car photography and, you know, maybe sports as well. But, um, you just got to find, find the places, I suppose. So I'm really looking forward to that. If anybody has any advice or tips on launching something like this, um, what I would really like to do is kind of advertise a few photo, like free photo shoots, or at least next to nothing cost of photo shoots, like maybe a tank of gas, but I suppose that would depend on where it is at. So, uh, and I also need to get practice, a lot of practice indoors, more on just, not just on, you know, live concerts. Um, so indoor and outdoor photography. Um, but I do have a list of things to work on throughout the year. Um, and like I said, if anybody has any tips, if you could post down below, I'd, I'd appreciate it. And if you have any tips on advertising, like free photo shoots with maybe a limit or something, uh, and, you know, kind of expressing that this is for practice, but I'll do it for free. Obviously, I won't pay for the prints myself, but y'all know what I mean. I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. Um. So, and I also have some before and after projects. So I've been going through my photos from last year or the year before that, where I was just pointing and clicking in the beginning of last year when I was just pointing and clicking and editing them and doing side by side. I created this thing in Photoshop uh, for before and after photos that a way uh, you guys can see the difference in, you know, like uh, how bland and plain and boring I was being in the beginning uh, until I started to learn more and more each each time I took, uh, I guess, a photo shoot. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, I am looking forward to sharing those with you as well. I'm super excited. Uh, if you would like to, please follow all my socials. They will be linked down below in the description. Um, it'll take you to my link tree, which will give you a list of all of my socials. Um, which, you know, uh, a lot of those photos you get directly to me, or links you get directly to me, not photos. Um, but I'm enough, uh, enough boring you with my talking. I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoy the final shoot of the 2023 Bald Knobber season. Um, happy retirement, Hargis, and happy new year, everybody. Love you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the photos.